bogey free heading into the weekend. Yeah. No complaints there. Tell me how it's been going. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, you know, I've been driving the ball in the fairway, giving myself some good looks with the irons and hitting good iron shots and, you know, making a few putts. And it's been a good two days. Uh, walk me through uh, the eagle today, second eagle of the week. But yeah, number so, six. Yeah, number six. Um, kind of, I hit an OKT okay shot kind of up the right side, so I had a little further in, had to hit a five wood, so I kind of favored towards the right bunker side. And I was just missed the bunker and had a chip across the green and f was fortunate to knock it in. Mark Hubbard's mentioning it was kind of playing a little bit harder being off early this morning. So put yourself in good contention. Looking forward to playing more in the afternoon tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. You know, yesterday we were really dialed in with our numbers with the irons. And then today when it was colder in the morning, they weren't, they were flying, you know, kind of 10 yards shorter, 15 yards shorter sometimes at the elevation. So fortunately we kind of noticed that on the range and adjusted for it. And I was lucky enough to just trust the numbers, that, the clubs that we picked. And then the, as it warmed up, it kind of gradually kind of started getting closer to what it was yesterday afternoon. With the different format, do you do any different type of game plan with your caddy, playing a little bit more aggressive? You know, not really. Um, I'm not a guy who's going to come out and overpower a golf course, so I just have to almost play angles on some of the holes. You know, some of the par fives I can't quite get to, but I need to give myself a good angle to have a good look for a chip. And, you know, same with, like, number eight, you know, the par four, it's drivable. But, you know, with where the pin was today, I had to make sure I got it up there and left of the green to give myself a kind of a pitch shot across the green. So it's kind of the same game plan for me, you know, try and make no bogeys and as many birdies as possible. Played this course before. What do you like about it, matching up with your game? You know, I think really having control of the golf ball out here really, you know, helps you um you've got to be in the fairway once you get in the rough with the greens being firm you can't really be aggressive with your irons so you have to drive the ball in the fairway you mentioned that eagle on six earlier obviously you know you like to get some eagles be more fo more focused on birdies but how significant when you is it when you get those eagles oh it's huge you know i had a six seven footer yesterday for eagle on uh on number two and it was i was grinding so hard just because it's it's like making a couple birdies you know it's actually two and a half birdies so if you can make an eagle you could just kind of leapfrog guys on the leaderboard and 19 in the second round was it just really the timing and uh what what, what really went into today into this this big jump you had um you know i hit the ball really well yesterday i just didn't really make many as many putts yesterday I hit a lot of good putts just kind of was lipping out and had bad speed on a few of them and today i was able to knock those in not everyone plays at altitude in the sport of golf how would you describe it to someone that's never done it before what it's like to play this game at altitude like we are here yeah it's quite a bit different you know you hit the ball further um you know significantly further and so when you're looking at numbers you really just have to trust the clubs that you pull out of the bag you know how far you hit it on the range and trust that it's going to go that far on the golf course 